In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make color changes. I'm going to be using Lion Brands Yarn Basic Stitch Anti-Pilling in the colors Black and in the color Truffle. Okay, this one's part of their new skein tones. Okay, I'm going to be using a 3.5M hook for reference. And the pattern Dixie, the Doberman which you can find in my shop. Okay. So I already started with rounds one through five since they're all in the same color. Okay, and I'm gonna be following round six to eight. So you can see how I do the color changes. Okay, I've zoomed you in. Hopefully you can see it a little better. So for round six to six through um, eight, it's gonna be the same. Um, Three single crochets in your color A, which is this brown. Five in the color B, which is black. And then back to color A, which is this brown, for 16 stitches. And all three rounds will be the same. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and do three in the brown first. So one. Oops. One. Two. And three right so you're gonna go ahead and yarn over pull it out you're gonna have two right here in your hook then we're gonna go ahead and introduce the black okay and then just pull the black through just like that then we're gonna do five in black so what I like to do is just insert my hook grab the two tails that are left so the black tail from the one that we just introduced and the brown of the working yarn. And I like to slip those in there so they can get nice and tight underneath the stitch. Pull your black through. And go ahead and finish your single crochet. And I carry it, since this is a small, um, I guess, patch of color changes with just five stitches, I don't mind carrying the color. I usually just do one stitch or two just so it's nice and tight and then drop it if it's like a big patch. So like say when you get further down the face where you have big gaps of black and brown, then I definitely would just carry it along two stitches and then drop it so you don't see it through the the other parts of the yarn that are different colors. So this, this one is a small little patch. I'm just going to go ahead and carry it through. All right, so we have one. Then two, you can leave the yarn tail for the black, it's fine. Should be fastened enough. Okay. Then three, four. And then when you get to the fifth one, you're gonna yarn over with the black. So you have two loops like this. You're gonna pick up your brown and you're gonna go ahead and pull that one through. Okay, then go ahead and insert to the next stitch. I like to pull it forward so it stays underneath and attaches itself to the actual fabric. Just like that. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do the next three rounds. And the next two rounds, I mean, so seven and eight, just the same as this. I will slow down to show you once I actually do the color change though.
Okay, so then we, for the seventh round, one, two, three in brown. Before you switch to the black, pull up a loop so you have two on your hook. Hold the brown with your index finger. Pick up the black. Make sure to give it some slack since I dropped it after I changed to the brown. Okay, now you pull the brown, the black through. And then you're gonna do your five single crochets in the color black. Carrying the brown through, or you could drop the brown. It's really up to you. I don't see a difference in my color changes whether I carry it or not. The only difference I see is that you can see the colors peeking through um, your yarn once you start stuffing it. That's about it. So it's really up to you, your preference. Okay, so we're going to do the five. One, two, three, four. And then at the fifth one, where you're going to color change again, you're going to go ahead and pull up a loop in the black. Hold the black. Okay, yarn over with the brown. Okay, you're gonna carry the black for two, two, one or two stitches. I like to do two just so it's nice and secure. And then drop it. And then continue on to the rest of the round in brown. Okay, and this is how the second round of color changes should look. So this is round six and this is round seven. So round eight will be the same. We're gonna do three in brown. One, two, okay, two, okay, and three. <laughs> Okay, and at the third one, you're going to go ahead and color change to black again. Okay. Pull the black through, then continue with your five. You want to always leave slack inside whatever it is that you're crocheting, just so it doesn't warp the shape of your project. So I like to carry it along to leave slack and then secure it by carrying it along like that. Okay, and then finish the rest of your five in black. That's one, two, three, four, and then on your fifth one, Go ahead and pull the black through. You're going to hold it and change to your brown. Just like that. Okay, secure the black one. One to two stitches. I'm going to do two. And then go ahead and just drop it. And finish your round in brown. Okay. So at the end of round eight, your nose should start to look like this. I'm going to go ahead and continue with the rest of the pattern, making the color changes the same. Once I get to a little further along the snout, I will show you what it's supposed to look like. Actually, another thing I wanted to show you. So um, for round nine of this little guy, you're going to be changing the color before you do your 
or in the middle of your increases. So it would be three and brown. So you're gonna go ahead and do one, two, three, and then you're gonna change to black like we've been changing. Okay, leaving a little slack. Go ahead and add the black, pull it through. Okay, carry your brown. And you're gonna do an increase in black. Then you're gonna do three single crochets. So you're gonna do one, two, and three, right? Okay. So then after that, you're gonna increase, changing to A in the last single crochet of the increase. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and do the first single crochet of the increase. So it's going to be one single crochet in black. But since we're changing, you're going to go ahead and not finish that single crochet in black. You're going to finish it in brown, right? So go ahead and pull the brown through. And instead of going into the next one, which is here, the brown, you're going to insert it back into the same single crochet, but in brown instead of black. And then carry the black so you can tighten that. I'm sorry, my son's running around. So I'm pretty sure you can hear him in the background. Okay, so then after that color change, you're going to go ahead and do three single crochets, increase times four, right? So just carry on, making sure you're putting it in the right one. So see, it's going to be this one right here. Okay, so one, two, and three, right? Drop the black. Three. Okay. So then, this is what you're going to get. Let me continue and I will be back once I have more to show. Okay. So this is what we have at round, let me see, round 15. So after round 15, when you start doing the cheek color changes. It is not a straight line. It's not supposed to be a straight line. It does kind of curve and jagger. Um, I just didn't want it to be straight because it doesn't look too realistic. Um, they don't usually have extremely straight lines. I mean, you can always just go and um, along as you want and straighten it out by like changing the stitch colors. But I like how it looks like this. In either way, when you have the nose over here, this doesn't even show. It's just going to be this part. Let me go ahead and continue a little bit more and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, and this is at the end of round 17. When you start to increase for the head. As long as these are straight down like this, you should be fine. 